women have to be way up here mm-hmm. and the men can give the bare, bare minimum. minimum because you don't want us to have a hot girl summer because of your reputation attached to our name. Mm-hmm. But then in return, we be going out and get a little snickles and giggles from other bitches like, oh, yeah, girl, look, this is dick right here in my phone. <laughs> What up, what up, what up? This is your boy Agree to Disagree, and I'm coming at you again with some more video reviews. We got a few videos that we're going to get into today. Some really interesting stuff, so let's get right into it. No man is a man without a woman. It's a woman that helps the man to be a man. A man that don't have a woman don't know if he's one. Mm. What do I mean by that? A woman will test you to see if you are what you say you are. Mm. Any woman that you fall in love with, she love you too, but she's going to try you. That's her nature. She got to know that she can depend on you. She got to know that you stand up for her. She got to know that you'll back up the children that she brings in the world for us. I got to be honest here. I don't I don't detect any lies. I don't detect any lies because women help balance men. And you know, cuz I mean, we're already men, but women help make us be a man, right? And he talks about like how a woman will test you, right? Because what they're going to try to do is they they don't want a man who is a pushover. So they want to make sure that you are assertive, that you will stand up for yourself, that you are a leader, that you're someone who's capable of independent thought. You know, they have to test you to make sure that you can protect them, you can lead them, you can uh, provide for their family. So it's, it's a survival tactic. And so that's why they are going to test you to make sure that you stay sharpened, that make sure that you're on your P's and Q's in order to lead them and their families to prosperity. I'll tell you a, a quick story because um, women, they also help keep men civil, civilized. I, uh, I went to a school where the uh, boys and the girls were separated. And let me tell you, the, the the boys, now that there were no girls around, they were acting like savages. They're acting way more wild, way more immature. Uh, it was kind of like this alpha mentality where guys out there puffing their chest all out uh, because there was there was no there was no women around. They were just you know acting wild and crazy. But as soon as as girls would come around, it'd be like a complete switch. Now the guys want to act all cool, calm, and collective because you know, oh, oh, there's there's women there, there's women there. Hey guys, we gotta we gotta, you know we got we gotta straighten up. And so that's why I always say that there's no greater motivation to a man than a good woman. Do the boyfriends. I don't, you don't do the boyfriends. boyfriends. I don't do the boyfriends. So what you do? The one night stands. I just said that. I don't like commitment. I don't do no relationship. You don't do relationship. Nah, that shit dead for the mother. Bird. Uh, I'm not the Marian type. I don't do marriage. I'm, I'm more of a, you know, solo type of bitch. We're starting to see more of this as whole culture starts to take over. And I want to be clear. My problem with this isn't that these women don't want to be in a relationship. My problem is that these women are still having sex with men without the man giving them any kind of a commitment. So they're having relations without any relationship. And that's because society has taught us that commitment is now, now a, a bad thing. We don't want to be committed. We don't want to get be tied down. It's too restrictive, blah, 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 blah. So you just want to hop from one dude to another. But as a consequence, you are not making any meaningful, long-lasting relationships with the opposite sex. You will never learn to work on your own issues because as soon as the relationship goes sour or the the guy uh, talks about his displeasures, you're just going to 
move on to the next one instead of actually sticking it out, working on the, those issues, learning how to communicate better, learning how to love your partner better. Instead, you know, you just absolve yourself from all type of accountability by just moving on to the next relationship. And let's just pray to God that they are out here practicing safe sex because I don't, do I even need to go into all the details about how hopping from one sexual partner to another sexual partner puts you at risk? And some of you may not prescribe to this kind of thing, but when you're out here just sleeping around, you're creating soul ties with this person and that person, not to mention you're putting a lot of mileage on your body. And promiscuity is the number one reason why marriage rates are going down. Why are guys going to wife up a woman when they can sleep with this woman and that woman and just just have fun because that's what you guys are promoting. And there's even been studies showing that women are happier when they have less partners. They're they're more less prone to depression when they have fewer partners. And the reason for that is because if you have fewer partners, then chances are you are having longer lasting, more meaningful relationships versus someone with multiple partners, then basically the only kind of relationships they're having is just uh, a few laughs and some butt naked sex, which doesn't really mean much in the grand scheme of things. Women think they can just do anything and not be judged by it. Mm -hmm. But they have to understand, like, you can do OnlyFans. You can show your ass and all that stuff. Do it. Make your money, all that stuff. But that's not what men want to be married to. Absolutely. Right. And so they chasing all these things, chasing the money, and then wondering why dudes don't want to settle down with them. Because it's like, I don't want that. Like, I want a wife. Yeah. And a wife does not exude those qualities. And so they thinking everything is just okay. You can have a hot girl summer. You can do all this stuff and then go back to a husband when that's not going to happen. I feel like the standards on each end are always women have to be way up here and mm -hmm. the men can give the bare, bare minimum. minimum because you don't want us to have a hot girl summer because of your reputation attached to our name. Mm -hmm. But then in return... We be going out and getting little snickles and giggles from other bitches like, oh, yeah, girl, look, this his dick right here in my boat. <laughs> you think we want to be married to that? You think that's a good representation of the man that's in oh, my no. family? But that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like it's too much of this from the men's side, but no accountability for the bullshit that they do as well. You know, what I would really want is for her to kind of I haven't seen the full clip of this, but I would really want her to like fully expand on like what is the bare minimum for men? Because I'm pretty sure that women have their own long lists of standards uh, that they expect from a guy. Um, so I'm not sure what she's getting at as like the bare minimum, because I mean, I know you guys want a guy who's a leader. He's tall. He got money. He got a nice car. So I'm not really sure what she means by the bare minimum, unless she's talking about the bare minimum as far as when it comes to um, men also having like a hot boy summer um, as far as that goes, which, you know, I completely understand that point where, you know, because I get it. Like, you know, I, I think she makes a point like girls don't want their man out here just slinging D all over, the, all over the town. Like they don't want a dude who's, you know, every woman has, has has been with that guy they don't they don't necessarily want that either you know what i mean they 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 want a a man who you know who's who's not a hoe pretty <laughs> for for lack of a better term but we got to understand that double standards do exist and i i feel like we need to stop complaining about double standards because it's 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 it's, it's a thing it's, it's, it's this thing that happens and there's there's double standards on, on, on both sides, no matter how fair it is, no matter how much we don't like it. Women will always be judged more harshly for having multiple partners than men. And I can go into several reasons as to why that is. First up, a, a man who's able to get multiple women is likely a very impressive man but a woman who's able to sleep with multiple dudes that's not that's not very impressive that's not much of an accomplishment 
uh, a an accomplishment for a woman would be able to tie down an impressive man who could get multiple women, but he chooses just to be with you. That is what I would deem an, an, an impressive woman. But like for a man, because, you know, the, the, the standard to sleep with with women is, you know, it's, it's not it's not easy. Then if you're a guy who's able to to get multiple women, then that, that guy is he's, he's probably an impressive guy because multiple because they say the sex is, is 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 the prize so he's able to get the prize out of out of all these women but instead for women the, the prize is commitment security uh longevity that's that's where the prize is so that's kind of why the double standard uh exists not to mention uh our biology if a woman gets pregnant uh her reproductive organs are pretty much tied up for um, at least nine months or about around nine months. But for a man, if we get a girl pregnant, we can go ahead and reproduce with, with other women. So just from a biological standpoint, men will never get judged the same for, you know, being promiscuous as, as a woman will. And we can get upset about it. We can yell to you, to you, you know, you turn blue in the face, but it's not going to change anything. That's just kind of how it is and how it'll always be. So I, I think both of them make a, a good point, but, you know, she, she talks about accountability and, you know, it's, she has to take accountability for herself and for what women are doing. So knowing the facts and, and of, of these double standards existing and how you will look at people will look at you perception is reality if you out here sleeping with with 50 men people are going to look at you like you're a slut it is what it is so with that being said you have as, as as a woman and if if you're a woman who wants to get married wants to settle down you have to know that you can't be out here showing your ass and titties and sleeping with a bunch of dude and expecting a a, a man to 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 wife you and, and you just i think i think women just have to understand like where, where where their their value uh is at right that your your value isn't and i know like they say like sex is the prize but a woman's value isn't in what's between their legs all women have a vagina so your vagina doesn't make you special what's going to make you stand out is while all these women are out here having a hot girl summer you're going to be the one who's like, you know what? I'm going to dress conservative. I'm going to carry myself a certain way. Instead of being loud, I'm going to act a little more modest. You know, and I'm a, I'm going to carry myself with, with, with a sense of pride and dignity. And I'm going to bring peace to my man instead of chaos. That is where a woman's value is. And I know guys are probably going to get a pass for having a promiscuous past but when you do find a good woman like the, the one i was talking about someone who embraces her femininity you can show your value by rewarding her with commitment loyalty security protection and leading them to prosperity because as a man that's what you're supposed to do you're supposed to honor your woman and be there for them and respect them if they don't want you out here messing with other women and honing yourself around, then if you decided that that's the woman you want to be with, then just as a respect thing, then that's that's what you need to be doing. So I can see both ends of, of, of the spectrum. And, you know, I think accountability needs to be be taken on, on, on both ends. So that's my thoughts on it. Let me know what you thought of the video. What points did you agree with? What points did you disagree with? Leave your comments below and let me know what you thought. And if you got anything out of this video, hit that like button. This is Agree to Disagree. I'm out.